today with the unicorn spit I'm going to be using pixie punk pink blue thunder as you can see I use these a lot and Zia teal that is more of a white when it dries it I use it like a white kind of you'll see how that works and then I have some little things with water in it, a uh, paper towel to dab, and I just put it on a plate, but I also want a mix here, I want a little bit of a purple. I don't think I'm going to use this very dark um, without mixing it a little. Such a dark blue. I'm going to water it down a bit. I do have my sprayer. Just doing it in various places. Kind of going with the grain, but this one I'm not paying huge attention to the grain. Just going with it. And this one I'll show you. You don't have to be so precise on it. You'll see why. I would say this is watered down about almost 50 50.
now why I didn't 100% worry about every little line because you're going to wet a rag. Pretty good. Do some swipes. Get a clean side. Uh, the best you can. And I'm just wiping in the direction of the grain. And this is how you get like a lighter pastel type of look. And you could keep wiping if you want more or, but now you have to let it dry. There's a little bit of paper towel on this. Let it dry and then seal. And then you'll see the final look with spit, it dries and it looks matte and it doesn't look as good until you seal it. But if you like that matte look, then all you have to do is seal it with an oil matte based um, looking gloss. Well, not gloss. <laughs> uh, so a matte look at the end. It'll tell you on each container. Um, I'm actually going to do what I normally do in my other videos. It's going to get a spray and then I'm going to coat it with a probably a poly but the reason you do the spray I'm, you've probably seen in my other videos but the reason you have to do the spray is because if you use a poly acrylic uh, clear coat and the end then it will kind of make this water too and it reactivates it and it messes up all your look so definitely don't do that <laughs> alrighty all about Four hours, I would say five hours. This should be dry, and I'll probably end up waiting for it tomorrow, anyways. Alrighty, we'll see how that comes out. Just want you to see what it looks like dry. It's kind of chalky looking, but don't worry, it'll look a lot better in a second. gonna use I have a little bit left this is total boat and it's a clear gloss it really is fast drying and you don't need to sand between coats which is great it's um well ultra durable it's what I use on my picnic tables if you ever saw those if you didn't see those videos have a look on my page and you can see what I did there. This is actually kind of a smaller version, just a different process. And it is UV resistant, which is really nice to have. But you're supposed to go like this to mix up the bag. And I only have a little bit left in here. We'll see how it does. If you haven't, um, take a minute and subscribe and like this video if it helps you because 
Sometimes I really don't know if it's worth doing the videos, if it's helping anybody. Um, so give it a like and hit subscribe so I kind of know. And don't forget, uh, in the comments, you could, if you want to see another process, if you want to see something else, uh, just write it in the comments and I'll see if I can do it. Came out a little fast. Normally I would have pour poured that in a cup, but I just didn't think there was that much left to come out that quickly. around the side. I got a little too much. It's okay. Brush it here to the edge. I'm just going back and forth with the grain. It just kind of helps at the end. There it is. All done. Looks really good. Leave any comments if you want to see something else being done or different colors. Uh, just let me know if you like the video. Be great. Thank you.